we're going to look at the nucleophilic substitution mechanism here. We're going to use hydroxide ions reacting with uh, bromoethane. Okay, so first of all, it's a substitution reaction. We are going to substitute an atom, in this case a bromine, for a group of atoms, in this case hydroxide. Now hopefully you've realised that the hydroxide is an incomplete formula here. So we need to put on our negative charge to show that it is hydroxide ion. Also, it, the hydroxide acts as a nucleophile, a nuclear, a nucleus loving species, or, as the definition is, an electron per donor. Now this hydroxide, or more importantly the the oxygen's lone pair is going to donate a pair of electrons to an electron deficient carbon. In this case it's this carbon here. This is electron deficient and we show this by the delta positive because the bromine has a higher electronegativity value. So we've got this polar carbon carbon bromine bond. So the lone pair of electrons attacks the electron deficient carbon and we signify that using a curly arrow. A curly arrow shows the movement of the pair of electrons. And as this pair of electrons approaches this carbon, the carbon releases the pair of electrons in the carbon bromine bond so that the carbon only has four bonds or eight electrons at any one time. Now we can draw out our product, which in this case is ethanol. And the other product from this reaction is a bromide ion. It is useful to draw on the lone pair of electrons to indicates to yourself and the examiner that you understand that this bond has broken heterolytically but it is not required for the mark in the exam okay and that is quite simply uh, the hydrolysis of a bromoalkane